Hi guys, my name is Firefly and welcome back to a brand new episode of Timberborn. And just like always, we're in time for a drought. Yep, we made it. We made it. Every start of an episode needs to be starting with a drought. But what did we do last episode? We built this little uh, residential area that can hold 200 beavers. We also built 15,000 storage units of storage i got that right um in the last episode we didn't actually build this yet but i've blown it out and put the last two storage in there i've also added this because we're going to have one more here once we stop building stuff and that is going to supply all our districts with the stuff that or the food that it needs i'm thinking depending on the size of the district it may have two district outposts specifically for that district if it's a small one, then we'll just have one. Because eight beavers, there's quite a lot of beavers. So there's going to be nine there. And uh, nine times eight, what is that? Like 72? I think. Don't quote me on that. Um, that's 72 beavers running around feeding everyone. <laughs> that's a lot of beavers. But, but today, 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 I have been a busy boy. And I have been using a lot of dynamite to blow this out and you've caught me blowing out the last little bit so let's start this um this episode of a bang let's uh detonate with this and my frame rate is destroyed r.i.p okay so i have seen something and you most of you can see it now i need 20 uh 20 lots of these i'm gonna mi be missing three blocks but that's that's fine I need 20 lots of these and I was thinking of putting it here, but then this river is all messy. It's not straight. So I realized something. This district center can reach really, really far. And that's, that's just amazing. So we can actually satisfy my OCD and we can have another 10 slots here. I'm hoping we can have another 10. I haven't fully done it yet. And we do need to move this a bit. I'm going to move my district center down and to the right a bit by one and that will create a path in here and the other thing that we had a problem with well I realized might be a problem is that farmhouses now if I did a farmhouse here it can't reach all the way to the end so there's a problem and we're gonna need to reach all of this right so what I've come up with is doing something like this. We're gonna pop, we're gonna delete these blocks. And we're gonna pop a farmhouse right here. Now, let's pause that for now. What that means is can I it might not hit this last line. Um no, we can't see that, can we? So if I put it like this. You see, it doesn't hit the last line on the left, which is not the greatest. So we're going to have to figure out how to get that last line because we're going to need that whole line, I'm sure. Um, let's just calculate if it can all fit in there. When I when I looked, at it, it should have. So one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like that. Perfect. And this should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. So that allows a farmhouse to be right in the middle. And saying that, we're gonna put two farmhouses. So what does the Yeah the pathin doesn't look too bad. Now in this you gotta remember this pathin is absolutely terrible because there's nothing connecting here, so they have to go all the way around here. So I'm going to move this down and put pathing around it. I'm going to make it a bit more efficient. Now, if I delete this, three, and one there, what is the pathing like? I still reach the end. Oh, I am in love. I am in love. And if we do something like this, And pop 
that like that and that like that it creates good pathing and you'll notice that we won't have at the end we won't be able to reach the end but i am going to put farmhouses on this side because this is going to be a lot of wheat to deal with it's going to be a lot of wheat so i'm going to get that all up and uh I'll see you guys in a sec okay so that is done but i've got a little problem I've got a little problem with this one now how are we going to get beavers there how are we going to get beavers there I could most probably not have it for the sheer fact that these two will most be helping this as well. So for now, we're not going to have it. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave it like that because if the, if I do feel like their farmers are struggling, then I'll do something about it. I'll mostly move the floodgates down to here and then put a platform across so they can get across there. But look at that. All of this food. That's going to be free, just a, around 3,000 uh, units of wheat per day, or bread per day, so I said, because once it processes, you buy bread. And all oh, the math that was not done by me. <laughs> there was another thing I forgot to show you guys, is I was looking at metal platforms, because the metal platform can actually go over the wheat, and I was going to put a metal platform here if I could only, if I only had to use one line, but um, I came up with this idea, so that is not going to work, and it's very expensive because I don't have much metal. All right, so now what we've got to do, we've got to feed this place with water. So we are going to have to start blowing stuff up. And how will we do that? I think up to there would be fine. Yeah. Because it we don't really and truly mostly only need to bring it up to here. You know, I'm going to try that and see how much that irrigates. Uh, let's get some dynamite down. We've got loads of dynamite. got 400 dynamite. And we also need to connect the water but well, we collect it in each point. So hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. We've got 0 0.4 days of um, drought left. So the water should be coming in pretty soon. And we're going to do it too deep as we've done here. It keeps the place fresh. It keeps a little pile of water underneath the ground. And from what I've heard, I think it takes around 15 days for a whole tile of water to evaporate. So it should last us through any drought that normal has to provide us. So I am going to get this done and we'll see how it looks okay so they are just putting the finishing touches onto that a few more planks here another road here and a few more there and that is done look at this look at all this food just let's just take it in for a second that is going to be around maybe just under because of this but it might be over 3,000 food per day now the reason why i say it might be over is because there's one thing we've got to look at and there's one thing i really want to get in place and if we go in here we go to someone maybe not you because we need an adult 67 years old if we increase working speed then we could most probably increase how fast they harvest and uh, produce the food so if you got like the laborers monument that is 25 percent more working speed walking speed that's also another good thing and life expectancy. Um, so that's the main things I want to get on to is life expectancy, walking speed and working speed. Now carrots, that gives life expectancy. That's a really good food to have. So I'm not going to be sending out carrots, but they are going to be making carrots. Shelter gives walking speed and life expectancy. And bread gives carrying speed, which I'm not too fussed about. I just want working speed. Now working speed, beaver statues. So we need to get some beaver statues around. But they cost a lot of um, metal, so I'm not going to do that yet. Roofs. Oh, that increased working speed and shrubs increased working speed. And they seem to get that when they sleep. Carousel, mud bath, and lido. The mud bath, carousel is best, but it takes a lot of, um, takes a lot of power. 
books. Now, this doesn't give you knowledge anymore from what I've been told on the Discord. It doesn't give you knowledge anymore, so it's only books. We won't be producing books here. Ooh, a shrine. Wait a minute, what's the difference between a temple and a shrine? The same thing. What is it called down here? A temple. So we need some temples out here. That will increase working speed by a lot. By 30%. That would be amazing if we can get some temples done. Now we'll get some uh, little beaver statues like here next to the um, farmhouses. And maybe we'll put try and put some laborers monuments around but that's a bit later. We also got to take a look at breeding pods, which I think I'm going to put along here. So if I, where is the breeding pods in house, right? Oh, we can go in. Oh, that's amazing. I thought it was a two block space. Now, from what I've seen again on the discord is that if you have carrots and shelter, it roughly sustains about one breeding pod roughly sustains about, I think it was 16 beavers. So we need two we need to sustain 200 beavers. And that's about what? Is it time for the trusty calculator? Let's let's take a look at the trusty calculator. So 200 divided by 16 is about is 12.5. So if we put 12, should we put 13 just in case? If we put 13, that should increase. That should give us a sustainable sustainable amount of beavers for this area which is 200 i couldn't say the word so if we start from to here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and how many how many did i say i already forgot 12 okay uh one two three I don't like the way that looks. Let's move some more over here. The reason why I didn't put some next to the stairs is because I want to put another stairs up here. So that's fine. Um, let's put six on each side. So let's pause that because they're gonna. I'm gonna delete these. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, we need thirteen, don't we? Well, we'll do. 12 because I think their life expectancy is going to be a bit higher so we might be able to do it with 12 alright three. there we go and then we can delete this stuff and we can start thinking about moving our, our district centre and start working on this area now this is going to be the production area this is going to be where we make our wood once we've built everything we shouldn't need much wood which would be great do I have? I don't have much wood here. I have very little amounts of wood. And does that take all? Oh, that takes 10. Okay. That's fine. So let's think about where we're going to put our district center now. Now, the reason why I want to move it forward is because it already reaches as far as I need it to reach, but it reaches out here and we don't really need it to reach out here. And I want to get it away from here. So I'm thinking somewhere like here. So let's get a district center up. Now, the thing about district centers, once I delete this, everyone will go to the closest district center. So I'm happy to leave it here because then everyone's gonna go there. So let's just hope they do. <laughs> and yes, 60, ooh, whoa, whoa. There we go, get back to work guys. Okay, cool, so that is connected. I like it. I like it. We do need to move this bad boy. So let's delete that for now. And make a pathway all down here. So that should help with pathing a lot more. Just can't get that corner. <laughs> but we don't need it. We don't need it. It still manages to get up here, so it must go up quite far. Now, now that we've got some beavers uh, getting produced over there. We can delete these, even though it's just going to waste my resources, but I don't mind. I don't mind. 
I'm going to delete this pathway and we're going to use, we're going to make this a lot easier to navigate around. So something like that. Um, like that there and we're going to delete this. And we're going to actually delete that because we're going to put a stairs right there. So then we can make that go down. We can delete that pathway and all is dandy. Now, what we're going to do with this, I am eventually going to need to make some water coming out here so we can irrigate the forest and the berries. And I need to change this around. I keep wasting cogs. <laughs> I keep wasting gears. So I need to change that around. Can we get this done first before anything else? Mm. We're going to need, I want to get about 20 bakeries and about 20 of these bad boys. So we've got a lot to get. We've got a lot of buildings to get done. I'm really scared to just delete all this because once we delete this, I won't be able to make planks or gears. So I've got to make sure I've got enough. I've got to make sure that is what I need. Hmm. Okay. So, what are we going to do up here? Okay, we've got that going. We can delete that. We can keep this area actually quite empty. I want to put maybe a monument here. Let's uh, get the laborers monument there. Uh, why don't you fit? <laughs> why don't you fit? Oh, I can put it there. I can't put it there because it blocks the path. Of course it blocks the path. Of course it blocks the path. Can I? Oh. Hang on. Hold your horses. How would I get up there for them to do that? I'll have to build some sort of scaffolding. Hmm. That is a decent place. Wait, 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 wait. We've got to, we've got to pull some of these. I only want four for now until we're absolutely ready to uh, start increasing the population. Yeah, I don't know where I want to put that monument. I do want to get some down because it does increase working speed. Can I pull it behind here? I can, but it just doesn't look great. Just don't see the point in that. Unless I raise it off the ground and you see it from behind. Hmm. Hmm. I have no, I don't know. I don't know. What does the other monuments look like? Not look like, but I really would like something to take that space. So this would be amazing. But that would need power. And we are going to sort out power here, but I don't know how much power we're going to get. So I think we'll leave monuments to last until we're ready for that. Yeah, I think we'll leave that until last. Yeah, okay, cool. So, all right, now I'm going to move this all again, which is not great, but it is what it is. And we're going to move that to this side, which I want to move this. I really want to move this. Where can I put you? Can I put you? Right. Where are you? All is supposed to be right here. Yeah, cool. We'll get that up and ready, up and done. We're going to use this area for bakeries. Once that's done, we're going to put all our water storage here. I can actually start building that now, hanging that out now. So we're going to do something like, nah, I like it like this. Yeah, that's cool. So I wanted 10. But do I want more? Once we get 200 beavers, would I want more? 
So I'm going to leave this whole area. In fact, there's not much space there, is there? We'll stick with 10. You know what? We'll stick with 10. If we need more, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out as we go. I'm going to delete this. And we're going to put more uh, water things here. So I want 10 of these water pumps. And now, let's get on to food production. So bakeries. We are definitely going to need more bakeries. And I really wish that wasn't like that. I'll put one there. And one there. And again, there'll be a space here. Now, I could leave it like that for decoration purposes. Yeah, I think I might do some decorating over there. Right, so now that the water's all gone, everything is still irrigated. I love that. I am a very happy beaver. Oh, oh, oh. Is this not irrigated? Ah, so it doesn't hit the last bit. So we're going to move that forward, but I'll do that off camera. Okay, I'll do that off camera, that's fine. All right, let's start emptying that storage. And that one. And with this, we're going to move these eventually. What are they making? Nothing really, because I have no potatoes. That's fine. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's get 14 down for now. And then we can have, what would I be using the bakery for? At the moment, I, well, the grill, sorry. I don't really need it at the moment. So I'm gonna leave the grill for now. We may make some potatoes. But for now, it shouldn't be too bad. 0.8 days left. And has that been made? Cool. That can be 10. This can be deleted. And then we can do this number. That. And that. And then once this is all up, I think we're gonna have to take the bullet and <laughs> start deleting some of this stuff because I need to sort out my power so we can start making loads of grits mills. And that way we can uh we can start putting all this wheat into good use. Empty that storage, empty that storage, and that one, and that one. Cool. But guys. That is all I have time for today. In the next episode, we're going to get this completed. And I think that will be all done. Once we clean this up and make it look a bit more pretty, I think this place will be done. And then we can start providing food everywhere else. So guys, I hope you have an amazing day. Hope you enjoyed the episode. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.